Hi there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Today I'm going to talk to you about water softeners, when you might have the issue of either getting a bridge, you may have heard of bridges, or a salt clog in your water softener tank. So what can happen when you get a salt clog or a bridge? So what happens is the salt and the water, they combine together and they get hard. You may get a bridge which is up a bit above your brine well, and it's a bridge of hardened salt water. And a clog is the same thing, it's hardened salt water, but it's down below at the bottom of the brine well where there are slots in the brine well. And the water has to go in and out of that brine well, but it can't because there is salt all hardened up around the slots at the bottom of the brine well. And this will cause your water softener not to work properly. Now I've only had one issue so far. I had a salt clog and I'll tell you what happened. I noticed that our water softener wasn't working properly and water started to build up on top of the salt. So I cleaned out some of the salt because I didn't know what I was doing and I cleaned out some of the salt that was in there and then I got down lower in the tank and I noticed that it was really hard salt. And what was happening, it was clogging those slots in the brine well tube. And I'm gonna show you what that is right now. So we'll lift the tank here on the water softener. And this is your brine well tube. And in here there is a plunger, but way down in the bottom there of this tube, there are slots where the water goes in and out. And that's where the salt hardened up in those slots so that the water couldn't go in and out. And it caused the water softener to uh, basically not work properly. So the other thing that could happen is a salt bridge and it could build up halfway up your uh, brine well. And what happens there is you'll have a hard layer of hardened salt. It looks like it's okay, but it's not. Underneath, there's nothing. There's no water flowing in there anymore. So when you go and fill up your tank, you think it's at a certain level, you're throwing salt on top of this bridge. So no salt is getting down in there with the water. So you may be wondering what causes a salt clog or a salt bridge. I use crystallized salt. I've also used pellets. Um, I stick with the crystals as much as I can, the chips. Also, another thing that could be an issue is how often the water is being used in the home. Like you may be in a cottage even, and you may only go there once in a while. So there's not a lot of water flow going on in there. And also at home, if you're just by yourself, or there's only two of you, you know, you're not using a lot of water. But here we have four people, there's a laundry going all the time, it gets used quite a bit. So this brings me to the third problem. The third problem is probably humidity. I believe that was the issue here. There was a lot of humidity and actually, this problem that happened to me is when we first moved in here four years ago, there was a man living here by himself. So he was alone. He probably didn't use a lot of water. I think he was away a lot too, plus humidity. And I think the, the problem had been building up and over time. And when we moved here, we had to deal with it. That's when we had the problem and it was a salt clog at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you what you do if you have a salt bridge. Remember the salt bridge is when it's partial way up the tank up the brine well. So what you wanna do is you just wanna grab a stick. I have a stick here all the time and you'll bang in on that salt bridge and it'll just break through and it'll fall down below and all your salt will go. If you have salt on top of the bridge, it'll just go down with the salt bridge. Now what you can do too, is if you have a salt clog at the bottom, you can uh, boil up some water, some good hot water, about a gallon, pour it in there. That'll help break up the consistency of the salt clog. And then hopefully, you know, you get a garden hose with a sprayer and you can spray down in there and work away at that salt. Get it, it's gonna be eaten up with the hot water and plus the spray and it'll start to eat up and it'll start to break down and it'll start to flow through. Now, you're, while you're doing that, your tank is gonna fill up. Hopefully you have a drain, an overflow drain here at the top with a hose going down into a big pail or bucket because that could happen. I didn't know about that when I did it. And what I did was the salt clog is right at the bottom. It was probably this deep. I had a spoon, big spoon like this with an extension. And I scraped and I cleaned at it until I got it all out. And that was a hard way to do it. But I didn't know that you could put hot water in there at the time. Maybe eat away at it with the pressure of the water nozzle. So I am yet to try that method. I hope I never have to. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between a salt clog and a bridge and what causes it. Now you've probably heard this too and a lot of people will say not to fill up the tank full of salt right to the top. Like it goes up to number 
number eight level. So that's about right near the top here, about two inches from the top. And the only, I don't know if that's true or not, but I imagine it would be, because if you have a lot of humidity or you don't use a lot of water in your household and that salt is always sitting in here and it gets humid in here, moisture, and it kind of breaks down the salt and it all starts to stick together. I can see that being an issue. So ever since I've heard of that, and that was pretty much after I had my salt clog, I just go up to number four. I've always filled up to like one full bag on top of what is already in the bottom of the tank. And it's usually just a bit below two and I get a warning. So I put in one bag and that'll usually last me a week and a half. So I never fill up the tank anymore with salt. So again, I am no water softener expert, but I've learned a lot lately about this and I'm learning how to clean them, how to fix the venturi that's inside under the hood here. This could cause you to have too much water in the tank. I'm learning this as I go and I'm sharing it with you. Um, I'll leave a link below in the description of this video and an end screen at the end of this video where you can go watch the playlist on the water softeners, fixes that I have there. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.